What's good, guys? It's your boy, Chemi. Today, I'm actually traveling to Kampala today to run some errands for my dad. And then, I hope I get done by today, then come back home as usual. I don't like staying out of home, man. Yeah, sometimes. Anyway, it's good to get out of your comfort zone, you know? You can't be at home every day, forever, you know? Yeah, man. Guys, comment down below. How do you like my new glasses? Cross the road. Yeah, man. So, today, I'm going to Kampala around some errands for my dad. And hopefully, I'll be done by today and come back. Oh, I think they look fire, man. Alright, so I'm trying to get a border. To go to town, then I get my taxi, then I'll be on my way, guys. Bruh, the guy is seeing me and he's just there. You guys be weird. I'm trying to go. And I'll catch you guys, I'll, I'll record when I'm in town. So guys, now I'm about to go to the, to the taxi, Kampala stage. Yeah man, you guys wanna put the tip? So yeah man, right now I'm going to Kampala stage. We're just entering India town actually. From another angle. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Kampala <laughs> Street. Now we're going. Kampala Street, guys. Where are you? Hi, guys. So. Oh, here. Uh, I'm not going to excuse myself. But still, we are going to be four. It's supposed to be three. I think I should go to the other one. Unless you are not in the other one. Yeah, I'm not I don't want to excuse myself. So guys, I decided to go to this next one because I don't want to excuse myself. I don't think it's worth it for you to pay your money. You can't pay your money and then after that you excuse yourself. Unless you're like really hurrying or something. Let me call the guy and see if he has rich in Kampala. Okay, we just got here. I'm going to attempt crossing the road. Yeah, man, so we just got here. Just wait for your car. Now it's time for me to rush. I'm going to start doing that stuff that I'm supposed to be doing. 
this is a new junction mall. I feel like they co they're copying the they're copying the one in Kenya. You know the junction mall in Kenya. Kenyans will understand. I'm gonna attempt to cross the road again. Oh. <laughs> the junction mall. Can you guys see the junction mall? That's crazy. It's a replica. You may find it's the same owner as well. I don't know. So guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're trying to reach now. The goal is a thousand, a thousand subscribers. Just not look at the views. The goal is a thousand subscribers. I tell you what to do. Just go if you're my supporter. Like if, if you guys really like watching my videos, you can just go. Get your dad's phone, get your mom's phone, get your uncle's phone, get your brother's phone, get anyone's phone around you and just go subscribe. That's the best way to do it, man. If I get from like 10 households, 5 subscribers from 10 households, that's 50. And then also sharing is very important. So, guys, Chirika. I don't know what's the name of this road, but. Yo, today when I was coming from India, I saw so many, I saw so many, I was seeing like hella places with rubbish, like, like just heaps of rubbish everywhere, heaps of rubbish everywhere. Check like here, then like there. I don't think it's good for, I don't know why Ugandans tolerate that, such rubbish. Kenya you can't find you can't find like rubbish piled up everywhere. It's impossible. Check I think this is a church. I don't know what this is. Yeah. Like here now more rubbish. I think what Uganda needs to do what Uganda what the government needs to do is to provide to provide rubbish pits and rubbish places for everyone. Check this. This. Maybe just because I haven't traveled a lot. More rubbish. More rubbish. People are okay with it. They're like, oh, that's life, man. It's Uganda. Arguably the busiest street in Chiraka. Look, there's everything going on. Selling of bags, selling of clothes, selling of I don't know what those are, furniture, selling of food, selling of movies. Oh sorry. So yeah man, there's literally everything going on on this street. Check clothes, nice clothes as well. Everyone everyone looks at me and I'm recording. Because this is kind of new in Uganda, man. This is not something people do every day. I'm trying to bring this into Uganda. So that people are not scared of cameras. Guys in Uganda, be scared of cameras, man. There's one here, but this one's, this one's a small. Check. Guys, comment down below. This must stop. This must stop. <laughs> that must stop. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm being too much now, but then still. This must stop. I'm pretty sure this is rubbish. It smells bad. Yeah? Oh. So you see what happens now? The things are blocked. There's... It's not good, man. So yeah. Now I'm, I'm here. At Kama Plaza. Yo, Aleko. Yo, Ah, uh, no, no, no littering. So guys, we're here at Kama Plaza. I bought a very nice apple yesterday there. You guys can come and check them out. See? Oh, this is dope. In Kereka. Kamuli Road. You guys check.
Isn't it amazing? It's cool, right? Man. So I was just here, chilling, watching from the top what's happening below. I was telling, I was telling you in the other video that Kenya and Uganda are different, right? Because Uganda is so hilly. Check. There's hills that side. Like literally, just Kampala only has seven hills. How many hills does Nairobi have? No hills. Nairobi has no hills. Seven hills in Kampala. No hills in. Okay, I don't know if there's hills. Let me not, let me not lie, guys. As I don't know. If you if you, if you know a hill in Nairobi, you can comment and tell me the hill because I want to know. So I'm about to destroy my apple here. I bought it from the, there's a shop there that sells really good fruits, just at Kama Plaza, Kamuli Road. Check, check. I like the red ones, man, they'll be sweet. Always have a fruit at least a day. Let me show you guys Nambole Stadium. Guys, you can see Nambole Stadium. That's that's Uganda's that's Uganda's only national stadium, guys. Uganda has one national stadium. In case, let's say, in case there's a big game, a huge game, let's say uh, there's a charity game that Barcelona and any team in Uganda want to play. They have to play it in that stadium. National Stadium. Guys, the jam is crazy. I have no interest in my phone. Sugar 
very soon we'll be approaching. Very soon we'll be approaching. Presumably the biggest forest in Uganda called Magera Forest. I don't know if it's still the biggest anyway, but presumably. Check. What's the industry? The air forest is biggest forest in the I don't know how that is serious. That's so serious. The temperature is so cool as well in the forest. I wish everywhere was forest. The temperature is cool, the air is very clean, pure, you know, there's no dust.
another cabin. That's a whole path to a school. have no it just end like in from there then someone came and cut down to this side it's at least end around here I don't know what happened. I think we just keep on encroaching now. Don't make sure this happens. So now from, from the forest you will see plantations of sugarcane. You know, there's a sugarcane company. Yes, I'll show you the sugar sugarcane company. The reason why this place is hard to figure out is because of the water and, and the good uh, the good drinks. So we could, these are the best places where sugar can grow, you know. There's also tea in between sugar cane and tea. These are sugar cane, these are all sugar cane here. Yeah. Ugandans like this kind of setting for their markets near the road. So now we're about to start the tea plantation, you can see. Now that's tea. I hope you guys can tell the difference. This is sugar cane, then that's tea. Yeah, actually, you can see sugar cane, tea. I usually. I usually admire the how tea plantations look, they look so organized. They look so aesthetic. Looks like a soccer pitch. <laughs> when I see them I remind me of soccer pitches.
this is the kill factory and I was talking about one that benefits from the sugar next to the Madeira forest. Sugar cane. Okay. Okay, this is Biko town, just next to Ginger. I'm almost home. Now we are back in Stone City. I usually call it the Stone City. This is the factory, beer factory. I don't know if you guys remember this guy. This guy, I just met him again. He caught my last club when I went off the by the park. This guy was the fuck. And then I just met him again. Hi to the vlog man. Hi. So guys, that's the bridge. That's Nile Breweries. Ah, that's the sun. I don't know if you guys can tell. Yeah, so guys man, I'm heading back home. Ah, no, I need that. guys, that guys are warning me about my phone. They're saying my phone will go. I'm waiting for someone to come and get my phone. The person who comes, I'll kill them. 